it's time for EDC. EDC. What does it mean? Well, it means everyday carry. Everyday carry. That's something that we all do. And uh, get my notes straight. Before I get started, I got to have the disclaimer out there. I am not an attorney. I'm not a professional in any way. I'm not a doctor. Not a, well, like I said, not a lawyer. I'm certainly not a judge. Well, except of character sometimes. And uh, well, I'm, I'm not even a therapist, a massage therapist, nor a sexual therapist. So please, enough with the comments. Uh, just kidding. There isn't any, really. Please. Anyway, uh, so now that I got those disclaimers out of the way, I'm just actually here to share my opinions on things and uh, hopefully help you come up with your opinions on things on your own. Decide what works best and what doesn't for you. So that being said, we now know what a EDC is. It's everyday carry, something that you carry every day that helps you get through the challenges in life that may come and arise in front of you that you have to deal with and overcome. Now we're not talking about big issues, but we could be. And you, you don't wanna get carried away because you can get weighted down with a lot of stuff. Now this is just what you would carry on you. Now, I gotta ask you, who do you think the masters of everyday carry are? Now think about it. I know you know, at least 50% of you know. Although these days it could be 60%. But anyway, that's right. It's women, yeah, uh-huh. Them things around their shoulders, those aren't just weapons to whack you with when you're being smart ass or naughty. Those are actually master uh -huh. ninja everyday carry kits, uh-huh. Those things right there could probably save the world. At least that's what they want us to think. But that's right, a lady's purse, it is loaded with things. Now, there are the usual things like keys, wallets, cash, uh, maybe even a small knife. You've got, well, today you've got masks and uh, hand sanitizer, some of us. Um, and, uh, well, those are the usuals. Now, in a woman's EDC kit, oh, Lord, in a woman's EDC kit, not that I peek because, honey, I don't want you to get in tr me in trouble. But... I may surmise that in a lady's EDC kit, otherwise known AKA as a purse, there are things like lipstick, eyeshadow, powder, the shit, there's even a mirror in there. They can signal somebody while getting beautiful at the same time. Shit, they even enough stuff in there that they can make a disguise. They won't even know it's your wife. Uh-huh, that's all in there. There's a wallet. There's hair ties, hairspray, parfum that acts as a, you know, a deterrent, especially if they put a lot of it on, you know, and they're over 80. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, there's also could be a knife in there. There could be sunscreen. How many times have you been out and your kids come running up and your wife says, you kids get in here. It's sunny outside. You need some sunscreen on. And where does it come from? <laughs> Out of the bag. I mean, I'm not kidding you. There could be an entire drugstore in there. Or, or even a sportsman's warehouse with some of them. And the thing fits in something this big. It's incredible. Now, there's also things like gum, brushes, maybe even a handgun. For those of you who are savvy. And, uh, well, there's also feminine things. Now, those are those things that they ask us to go out and get that, of course, we've all been there. It ain't no fun. But yet they won't let us look in their purse because they're in there. Now, that doesn't make any sense. So, oh, of course, you're not supposed to be looking in there in the first place unless you want to catch a backhand across your, you know. Mm -hmm. So, that's what's in the Master Ninja Warrior Samurai Shogun. Oh, wait, that's John's show. Anyway, you're masters of EDC. Mm -hmm. But for most of us, we may not carry one of them all-purpose EDC purses. So I'm going to go over in the next few videos 
a series of different avenues of EDC for you to consider to help you figure out what you need to carry on you at all times to get through the day. And I'm going to show you today what I carry and why. Now, some of the uh, the some of the categories are food, water, shelter, defense, protection, offensive protection, something to find your way like your phone or a compass, uh, entry and egress tools, you know, like keys, small pry bar, hydraulic jack, you know, everyday carry, uh, escape and evade items, for those of you who have been handcuffed on multiple occasions, not saying. And then, oops, gotta turn the notes over. Of course, we have our medication, money, and miscellaneous caches, to say the French. And I've showed you those before in some of my videos, but we'll go over them again in this section. There, Of course, there's currency, fast becoming unusable, unless, of course, you go with the electronic version. Documentation. Now, some of our documentation is becoming much smarter than we are, and we'll know where we're at anyway. Uh, illumination, knives, multi-tools, communication, and attire. Now, I don't know why I put attire on there. It must have been a late night out clubbing, because I certainly don't carry attire on me. If you do, well, man, you are the EDC master. Uh, and, uh, of course, the last one, uh, navigation, alternative sources. Now... This is the part where I'm going to show you what I carry and why. Now, the thing I use the most, of course, is my lychee light. Now, I think I may have showed this before. I put magnets on it to help stick it to metal. But this thing, as you can see, has a light. In this form, it's a light like this. And uh, in this form, it's a lantern. Because how many times have you had your little one come up and say, Daddy, I got skin my knee. I got a boo-boo. And it's midnight, right? That happens to me all the time. So I gotta fix it at night. So I need my lychee light and my little lantern like that, or I can stick it to something, or it even has a little rubber band here so that I can put it onto a tree limb if we're out camping. But that's what I have that for, so that I can see. I even use this in the daytime to look into the dark crevices or my lady's EDC purse, don't tell her. And uh, well, of course, there's always clubbing. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, enough of that. That's my EDC light. That's what I carry there. Now, the next thing I carry and probably use the most is my George Costanza. That's right. I have the George Costanza wallet. This shows that Christmas has gotten out of control, but not really. This is a month worth at least of a filing cabinet. Now, I have cash in here, which is now useless. In fact, I went to a coffee store the other day, one of them blue and white ones that's owned by a bunch of brothers. That, you know the one. Yeah. I was just throwing this stuff out the window trying to pay for a coffee and this guy just kept saying, sir, we can't take that. And I said, but I'll give you more. Please take it. And they said, no, we can't. We have to have something that's made out of plastic with something called a chip in it. And I said, I don't have the chip because I will not comply. And they said, well, sorry, sir, we can't take that cash. I said, well, then fine. I'll pick it up and off I went. That's my wallet. I carry things like ID in there and various forms of plastic, of course. You know, I was just being ornery. Anyway, the next thing I carry is a way to make fire. Mm-hmm. Oh, 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 look at that. A way to make fire. And, of course, on my way to make fire, I have some duct tape and some black tape, you know, rolled on there and I have used that occasionally but you gotta have some way to make fire because you never know there might be some hot lady smoking a cigarette and you want to give her light act all smooth of course if you want one of those I get yourself a zippo and learn how to use it but a fire nonetheless with some tape on there to learn how to you know tape things up because if you have a car like mine you need lots of thousand mile an hour tape so that's that. Now, what's the next thing I carry? Uh, let's see. I'm walking in my pocket here. Oh, yep. There we go. I have my escape and evade tool. Yep, that's right. That's an escape and evade tool. What is in here, and I will go over it in the future video, so stay tuned. But there is a glass breaker on here. There is a little key right here for handcuffs. There's a little plastic key. I'll see if I can work it out of there. Come on out. Come on out. See how good that would be? Oh, oh. I dropped it. There it is. 
that is a little plastic handcuff key. That's awesome, isn't it? Because, you know, if SHTF happens, well, people are going to have handcuffs and you're going to need to get out of them probably unless you steer clear of all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, to keep that on there, I have a little wrap of, uh, of uh, black tape. And what you'll find out in the future videos is, is in this little kit right here, you can see it's not even the size of a piece of gum, is a, is a saw for cutting metal and a pick kit for picking locks. Mm -hmm. And if you don't think you can lock pick, get yourself a simple kit and look it up on YouTube. You'll be able to do it, it's easier than you think. So that's just one thing, that's my escape and evade section. Now you can see how small I've kept everything. Speaking of small, I've kept my, this is what I would consider my multi-tool. Now you can carry a big multi-tool if you want and put it on your belt, there's nothing wrong with that. But I just choose to use a good knife, pocket knife, with those kind of features on there. Like I have my, my, my pliers on there, which I have used quite a bit and do work. I have my bottle opener and screwdriver for when I'm out at the range. Yeah, you heard me. Bottle opener and screwdriver when I'm out at the range. And then, I, of course, it has a knife in case you need to cut something. And then, it, of course, the next thing it has that you use a lot is your scissors. I use these all the time for trimming threads and all that kind of stuff. Got Phillips screwdriver and a leather punch down here at the bottom. Now, those are all things that I've used or I wouldn't carry this. And this is all in one nice little package, just like that, that clips into your pocket. So, the next item would be another kind of escape and evade or offensive uh um, protection device would be this little here. It's like a pin and on here it's got a little thing. Now this is for using on handcuffs to push the little lock down on it. But there's also one that, that fits on there for breaking windows if you need to. Just like that. Uh, but it also has a little spike in case you need to cut rope. As you can see this can fit real easy and cut some rope. Ooh, ooh, ow, cut, damn it. Anyway, uh, and it's also too, I found this pretty nifty. You can find this made by Boker. Um, and I'm not affiliated or sponsored by Boker. Hell, I'm not even monetized. But that's got a handcuff key on there as well. Now that's got a little clip so it fits in your pocket. And as you can see by all the wear, I do carry it as well as on the lint. So that is a handy dandy little thing that I keep right next to that in this pocket. And this all goes in that pocket, just like that. Now let's just see what else I got in here. Oh yeah. Now I have this here defensive tool right here. Now what this is, it's a folding knife and of course you can flip it out. Now this is why I have it mainly is for pressure points and so forth like that. If you haven't taken a class on how to use pressure points to help people say, encourage them to cease and desist with their activities or move the direction you want them to move, this is a handy tool. But if it gets a little too out of control, well we can just increase the amount of direction uh, 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 encouragement that we want to use and maybe it just takes a little hooking and pulling to get them to go that way. Now that of course was in that pocket over here so we're going to put it over there. Now let's just see make sure I'm not missing anything. Mm, see I got that pocket. Uh, got that. Yeah, see got that over there. Mm -hmm. Got that. Oh, got the old. Now this is offensive protection as you can see whoop, whoop, just like that. As you can see I wear it all the time because it's all worn out. This is something I hope I never have to use other than to cut rope, open boxes, things like that, but it's very handy. And it's not too big, fits in my pocket real well, also has a glass breaker on it. This one right here is actually a lot better to hold on to. It's got a clip to keep it in your pocket. So we'll put that on that side. Now, I'm just gonna stand up real quick. Oh yeah, I can't forget about that. Oh, this is secret, 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 secret. So. This is an everyday carry that everybody has and should have in their pocket, and that's pocket change. The reason why is pocket change can be used to unscrew screws. It can be used to help you sight in your firearms if you need to make some adjustments. And it can also be used to make a phone call. I think there's still ones out there like that. But even if there isn't, well, that pocket change is real handy for giving some of it, all but one maybe, to those people we see ringing bells out in front of the doors this time of year because they really do need it. Um, and the last thing I carry, of course, on this side I carry 
some of that for some of that. Now, the reason I carry this one right now, because I do switch this up depending on the year, depending on the occasion. Now, some may say, well, it's not a good idea to switch things up. However, if you practice with each one of these items often, you will know what you have in your hand when it when it happens. And you should know how to operate different types of tools like this. This one I got because it was cheap and I wanted to show people that for $2.99, you too can get protection. It's super light. It's the Ultralight by Taurus. It's their new one, $2.99, real cheap. You get yourself some speed loaders right there and it makes a really good concealed carry. Now, I do switch up at nighttime to something like this that has a light and a laser on it. This is a SIG P365. Uh, it's the one that's made all smooth and everything, no sights, so that it pulls out real easy. I mean, it has kind of a sight, but we'll explain that in another video. I do carry that, and if I do, I do, of course, carry three magazines on my belt. Well, one in my pocket, two on my belt, and the reason being is, is one is none, two is one, and three is a party! You know the party I'm talking about. Okay, so that is what I every day carry and why. I hope that that helped you kind of think through what you might need to carry in a day. And I think that's covered a lot of the sources um, that are that are that I mentioned. And uh, I have used all of these items, with the exception of this one, on a daily basis. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. If you have anything to add, any comments, or want to just share what you EDC, put it in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell if you would. And if you didn't like what you saw here and didn't have fun watching it with us, please put a thumbs down and tell me how I could make it better for you because you matter as much as anybody else. Until next time, be sure to be safe, secure, aware of your surroundings, and keep preparing for things that are coming our way. I love all of you. Till next time.